Hi guys, I'm Robert Duzik and welcome you to another installment of how I use what I use. Today I want to talk about ambisonic recording, recording sound and the surround and what's happened to the sound after. And we're going to feature this ambisonic microphone made by Rod NTSF1. So you see this microphone in action and you can hear the sound. But before we're going to jump to the video, I will recommend you if you have a good pair of headphones put your headphones on because you will be able to hear all the sounds that I record convert into binary audio so you will get the full experience of the surround system since not everyone have set up surround systems in the studio I want you to get the full experience so just take your headphones put them on and enjoy it but if you don't have it don't worry it's safe you'll be sounds good and your speakers so I'll see you in the moment When I'm back to the studio, I want to show you the evolution and what's going to happen to the sounds and what the actually benefit 
of recording thing, everything and ambisonic or surround whatever you want to call this thing right now. So now when you see this thing, I bring this thing audio and if you listen, first it's a, like it's just like a regular okay stereo track. So that's the recordings one we have from the city was recordings subway probably and now you hear everything is flat to hear the power you are using the road Seinfeld mic uh, plugin what you can download actually for free from them from the website and you insert this plugin directly to your inserts and your audio track and now when you see this thing you can select your output you can go in the stereo or you can go and they're like 5.1 so even with the stereo look at this what's happened you can play this with the stereo and you can wider the sound or you can be narrow to mono so it's pretty powerful things or you can just use your cursor and you can move you want it more to the left more to the right or speed 360 whatever you want so that's the power because you have the full amazing sounds of this thing so you open you hear right now it's bigger and you can move the pen and you can just see what's going on to the sound or you can completely reverse the sound so this is what's happened if you listen in the stereo now if you want to take the full advantage of the microphone go stereo and switch and go to like 5.1 now see what's happened i have the five signal is sent to the five speaker plus automatically the software separate the audio and it's going to low frequency and the center channel so now i have really good control and from this side i can control the position i want to come from top above my head from the bottom or again flip whatever you want to do so let's like this is a typical position and now when you hear what's going on here right now i'm going under settings on the anti sf1 the road microphone what's come with this thing so this is what's happening to the audio and as you see if i go right here let me show you my mixer right here and let's just switch to the mixer you see the sounds the going and the five different channels so actually six because it includes subwoofer now i'm in contact and contact six when i open my instrument and basically it's nothing special about it. i just adjust some the filters for me what's work for me but as you see the process is very simple you click on the wrench right here and i drag all the samples what i record in new york and i convert them to the binary audio and i just drag them inside and each of the sample the sounds what i record i place and each individual key so each individual key one i have right now on the keyboard is corresponding to the sound so basically what i want to show you right now the sounds when i play and because of that i'm able right now to creating on-demand virtual reality world ambience of new york so basically i can recreating anything i want so let's start with one key i don't know random key and you think it's end actually not because what you can do right now example uh we can use like black hole was like one of my favorite thing to using the river because it's just such a big space give you the space and basically by adding this turning on look at just the one sound it's give you the space so when i go right now and starting playing the same damn stuff look what's going to happen you feel like soundtrack of the vr game or something And you recognize the sounds from the subway. So you...
so you have the idea and it's funny something here because you can go easily and pitch them down and you can creating right now like completely underworld image now let's talk about the microphone i was using in this recording it's a soundfield microphone by Rode. it's a ambisonic microphone with the as you see four capsules here and it's a unbelievable mic it's like to be honest with you if you're gonna use this microphone if you sound designer and if you're looking for recording any sounds all you need this microphone it's forget about like any stereo microphone it, it's it's old right now you don't need this thing if you really want to invest in the future just like in the video you can't shoot anymore right now like a regular hd camera right now everybody's going 4k because you want to have the best future or preserve for the future it's mean with recording all your sounds and this thing you're basically ready for vr audio and dolby surround for anything what's coming next so whatever you're going to record right now you will be ready and as you see in my video i was very easy able to open and convert this to have like regular stereo or narrow sounds to mono or whatever you want so that's gonna be probably my only one microphones when i'm gonna go right now like any ambience or sounds because it's phenomenal i'm probably gonna use this together with my ntg3 shotgun the microphone also come with this nice blimp when you attach on top so it's prevent you from a lot of wind and you don't have to be expert how to put this because road already marked for you everything right here so you know where you put the blind and where you put the mouth and actually it's calm with i call this thing dead cat when you put over if it's too windy like in the scenes in new york and the brooklyn bridge actually i was using because that was a little bit windy but when you listen to the audio you don't hear any wind because it helped and everything was mouthed in this microphone stand with the cam with the mic and all i had to do it's just use like regular mono pad and I just attach this to so I was able to lifting that microphone high whatever I want or extend so it's pretty easy it's a cheap thing I just find on Amazon and works so this microphone it's interesting it's come with awesome cable made by Mogami when you plug this cable directly in and the back and you have four outputs the all color and just you need good recorder when you're gonna plug this thing. So what I was using and this thing, there was this Tascam recorder. Tascam released the DR701D and the latest firmware update, it's give the ambisonic mode, it's the FUMA format. So basically I plug my microphones right here and one right here and I was able to record in the full ambisonic audio and it's just phenomenal recorder. It's very small. You see this thing, and it's just worth it. The, the sound what just come from this thing, I was completely blown away. So in the convenience, I use Stingray uh, back from K Tech, and it's just fit perfect. I was able to plug this thing, close it, and all the microphones when they unzip it here, you can plug them directly right here. So everything was tied, so I don't have to worry anymore about. And, and stuff so they're definitely making really cool stuff and i'm i'm surprised i wasn't using them before it's just like lately starting but that's my new companion and k-tech make good stuff for me so thank you so much guys so this thing and headphones that was my traditional headphones one using the th mx2 headphones that's come and i tell you what the great they not only have an awesome sound when put you on your ears they feel very comfortable i don't feel tired and good isolation from the sound outside they're not breathing any sound outside too and and the second the cheap if i break them or you will break them ever you're not gonna cry over this thing because they're very easy to replace so it's a great thing so that's the gear i was using so hope you enjoyed this video hope i give you some inspirations and go have some fun record some noise and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching